Melanoma is a very common occurrence among grey horses, with an alarming 80% over the age of 15 developing this form of cancer. Out of these cancerous cells, around 66 of them become malignant. It has been unsure whether susceptibility to this cancer has been passed down to offspring over generations, or if certain traits result in high susceptibility. Melanoma often presents itself at varying degrees, from benign right through to the extremely aggressive malignant. Recently, a study was conducted to determine the inheritance rate of different traits in horses with the STX17 mutation, also known as the grey gene, and whether these lead to melanoma. Over the course of nine years, from 1999 to 2007, 7,146 samples were collected from 1,119 grey leopard designers, situated at six different state-owned studs. The data focused on a range of different quantitative aspects, including melanoma phenotype, progressive grain phenotype, vitiligo phenotype, and speckling phenotype. These four traits were used to determine horses most susceptible. Each horse was monitored over the nine years, and routine checks were conducted to determine changes happening within the animal's body. To detect melanoma, palpation and adaspeptation were used and recorded on a scale ranging from 0 to 5. As can be seen, there was varying degrees present. Secondly, the colour of the horse was graded using a Minolato chromometer. These horses ranged from a dark steel grey right through to an almost pure white grey. Both vitiligo and speckling were graded from 0 to 3. The vitiligo was based on the areas around the anus, eyes, nose and mouth and speckling the amount of colour within the coat. Findings of this investigation suggest that melanoma is moderately heritable, whereas grey level, speckling and vitiligo grade, responsible for 63 to 79% of variation between phenotypes, has a high level of heritability. Links between each trait was approximated at moderate to high levels, mostly due to the effect of grain. It was also found that a grey heterozygous horse will be 13.78 units darker than that of a homozygous horse. The heterozygous horse again appears to be more susceptible to melanoma. The results found can be drawn to the conclusion that inherited traits at different levels do link with melanoma. It appears that there is genetic correlation between melanoma grade and speckled and grade, and also between speckled and grade and grey level, although correlation between vitiligo and melanoma was insignificant.